All right, welcome back guys. So in this tutorial, we're going to see how we're going to connect the NiFi toolkit to a secure Apache NiFi instance. In our last tutorial, we went over how we can set up NiFi locally in a secure manner. So let's jump right into it. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you have NiFi toolkit installed. I already have it installed and I'll navigate to my OPT NiFi toolkit. Here in the toolkit, after you unzip the binaries of the toolkit, you will be offered with a sample file in the conf directory. So this sample file, it's a sample file of client property example. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to set up all our properties that are required for the NiFi toolkit to connect to the NiFi secure instance. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a copy of this and you can give it whatever name you want. For, for this now, we're just going to call it clickly.properties. Let's jump into it. So you see at the beginning, he will come with all empty values. So I already went and I prepped up a copy of my values. So let's talk about the values that I published. First, the base URL. Where is my NiFi instance located? So my knife face is located in my local host or at 9443. Where is my key store located? This is the full path of the key store. What is the key store type? What is the key store password? What is the key key password? What is the trust store full path location? What is the trust store type? And what is the trust store password? And the proxies entities, we're going to leave it as it is. So if you don't know how to get access to this information, make sure you follow the link in the description where we show how we can generate certificates in order for us to create a secure NiFi instance. And then you can use the same values for the key store and the trust store and their passport. Let's save and exit. Now that we have the property created, we're going to go into NiFi and we're going to create a new user. This time, we're going to go to the freshly baked secure installation NiFi. And you want to go to the bun folder here, go to users. And we see at the moment, we only have the initial user. Let's add a new user. And this user is going to have this identity, CN localhost NiFi. All right. Now that we added this user, we have to give him some privileges or access. So let's close this one and let's go to policies. So in order for us to do our work and our test, we have to give this user the ability to view the user interface. So add user and paste that user here. Great. Now we can see that user has access to the user interface. Next, we're going to give it access to all policies just to view. Click on the add user, add that user and press add. Now close and let's go back to our command line. Here at the command line, we are going to log in into our toolkit client. So if you install the toolkit, this location where it's OPT NiFi toolkit and you navigate to the bin directory, you will have a script call or an executable called CLI.sh. Once you paste that in, press enter. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up the session properties. So how do we set up the session properties and what do they mean? So if we're going to do a session, session show, this one is going to show us the default session properties. We can see that you already picked up my NiFi properties, but let's see how we can set this particular values. So the command will be session set the key name or the property name. In my case, I'm trying to set the properties for the NiFi connection base and the location to the configuration file that we just created early. Press enter. Now, if we want to test this, all we have to do or if you want to see the variables that were imported from the file, just do session and you can see show. At any point in time, you want to switch between the NiFi properties you want to do. So let's go and test our connectivity. We want to test access to NiFi. First thing we're going to do, is we're going to get access to the root ID of our NiFi installation. So we can see that we got a successful UUID back. If we're going to capture this value, which ends in CE85, and we're going to navigate to NiFi, we can see that this is the ID of our main canvas. All right, so this is a wrap for how we can set up NiFi Toolkit connectivity to a secure NiFi instance. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next.